Hi everyone, it's Lisa Mears. Thank you for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be making another card for Pretty Pink Posh as their guest designer. So this is a picture of the card that I'm going to be making. And the stamp set that I'm going to be using is called Happy Mail. I went ahead and stamped out the images so that you can see what the images are in that stamp set. So it does include a mailbox. There is some mail in the mailbox. There's also a bird carrying a piece of mail in its mouth. There's also a stamp with the mail. So you can see the little envelope stamp with the heart seal. Now this mailbox, you can see that it has some grass at the bottom. Because I'm making, making a winter card today, I'm not going to be using the grass. Now this stamp set is so versatile. You can use this for winter scenes like I'm going to do on my card. You can use this for Valentine's Day coming up. You can use this in the summer whenever you want to just send some happy mail to a friend or a loved one. This stamp will come in handy. So as always, I will have product links down in the description box of this YouTube video as well as on my blog at lisamearsdesigns.com. So if you're interested in, in any of the products that I use in this video, please take a look down in the description box. So I did stamp out my images on some Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth cardstock and I used Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm coloring them up with my Copic markers, but of course you can use any coloring medium that you choose to color your stamps. I prefer to use Copic markers, so I do that, do that frequently. And the colors that I'm using, I'm just going to start with the mailbox there. I had R29, R27, R24 and R22 and again all of these colors will be listed in the description box and on my blog as well. So for the mailbox post I'm using C6, 4, and 2. I'm not going to worry about coloring up that grass because I am making a winter card today. I'm going to have snow in my scene rather than the green grass so I'm not going to color that portion up. I am going to color up the mail in the mailbox. I'm using some teals, which are BG10, BG11, and BG13. I'm also going to be bringing in some pinks, which are the RV25, RV23, and RV21. I'm not going to color up the bird just because I'm not using the bird in my card today, but I did stamp it there just so you can see what it looks like. It's pretty cute with the mail in its mouth. And then I'm not going to use all of those envelopes. I do use a few. I wasn't sure how many I was going to use, so I stamped out quite a bit. But I do color up the envelopes with the same colors that I use on the mailbox. So I will have an envelope that's using the red colors, I'll have one that's using the pink colors, and then I'll also have one using the teal colors. And then for the mailbox flag, I do come in with some of my gray colors, C6, C4, and C2. Okay, so this die is the Nature Essentials die. And this die is really neat because it cuts out this stitch border. It's actually a frame. And then it cuts out all of these little um, borders that you can use for nature cards. So you have your birch trees, you have grass, and you also have this cloud. You can use that cloud as snow if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be a cloud. But I am going to be using only that cloud border, which again, I'm going to use as snow on my card, and then I cut three of the birch trees, and I'm going to use three of those on my card. So I'm going to take some Hickory Smoke ink, it's a Distress Oxide ink from Ranger, and I am just going to ink up the edges of my three birch trees with this gray ink because I want a little bit of shadow. I don't want them completely white. I'm going to do the same thing with my snowy border, just put a little bit of ink on the edge just for some added definition. So after I ink all of those up, I'm going to put this little snow border in my Misty and I'm going to stamp out a sentiment. I'm using two stamps from the Holiday Pals stamp set. It's Tis the Season and Sending You a Warm Winter Wishes. I'm just going to line them up and then just stamp them out with some black ink. So I have some blue cardstock here that I cut down to five and a quarter by four. That will fit perfectly inside that border frame. So that's the size I used. And I'm just taping down this snowfall stencil to my glass mat. 
and I'm going to use this light and fluffy modeling paste and I'm going to use that for my snow and what I like about this is that it's actually going to add some dimension so the snow on the card is going to actually be dimensional. It's going to be raised from the actual card front. Now if you don't have this you can always use some white pigment ink and ink up your background and I previously did a card using this snowfall stencil which is some white ink and that worked well too but for this card I wanted to add some extra dimension so that's why I'm using the modeling paste so once I finish I just remove the stencil and here's a look at what that looks like it will take just a little bit to dry not too long and then you'll be able to use that for your card layer so here I'm just lining up where I want my birch trees to go and I am going to just lay everything out. So there is my snowy border. I'm just going to lay that mailbox behind that snowy border. Just want to make sure everything is positioned where I want it before I start gluing everything down. And then once I have everything in place, I will just put glue on the back of each one of those items there and then just press it down and glue that to my card. Now I'm just trying to make sure that that birch tree is well to the right of that border. I don't want any of those tree branches tucked underneath that border. So it's useful just to kind of lay that border down on top of that card front as you're positioning your trees just to make sure that the tree branches are not underneath the border. Unless you like them that way, of course. Okay, so here's my third birch tree. I'm going to go ahead and add some glue and notice that instead of starting them on that card at the same position on each one, I kind of vary the um, way that I glue them down. So some are a little bit higher than others just because I didn't want them all to look so uniform. Next I just flip that panel over and I snip off the excess trees. Next I will add glue to the back of the white frame and I will add it directly to that blue panel and it will line up perfectly because I cut that blue panel just to, to the right size. Again it's five and a quarter by four so it lines up perfectly to that size. I go ahead and add my snowy border at the bottom and I'm going to tuck my mailbox behind. I do end up cutting off the grass just because the amount of cardstock layers behind that is a little bit thick so I just cut it off and then stick the mailbox in. Now I'm going to add a reindeer. This reindeer is one of the ones I colored up in my previous video that I used the Reindeer Friends stamp set and I colored them on camera so if you want to see the coloring of any of the reindeer I will put a link to that video down in the description box below. So what I've done here is I just took the shadow die and I die cut two more reindeer shapes and then I just snipped the head off and added the two layers behind the reindeer head on my colored image just because I wanted to make sure that it laid flat on my card panel and if I didn't add the extra layers of cardstock behind that head, then that reindeer would not lay flat because notice the legs are on the snowy border, but then the head, it's not. So you have that extra layer of cardstock with that uh, snowy border. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these envelopes on my scene and I'll add that card front to an A2 size white card panel. Now I know as I make this video it is the Christmas season but I want you to think beyond that and I want you to think winter season. So this card it can be used past Christmas. This doesn't necessarily have to be a Christmas card. This card can be used just for sending a card of wishes during the winter season. Okay I also want to just give you a quick look at a slimline card that I previously made and I have a tutorial here on my channel using more of the reindeer in that reindeer friends stamp set from Pretty Pink Posh. So in case you missed that, I will link that here. Again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more card making tutorials. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.